Talk to me. May I come in, sir? Come in, come in. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, sir. Ransu? Sir. Ransu is your name? Yes, Akshay. Akshay Ashok. Please, sir. Akshay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Mm. You are from Maharashtra, Nandurbar. Yes. Where it is, Nandurbar? Sir, Nandurbar is the district which is situated in the northwestern part of Maharashtra. Northwestern. Adjoining to the Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh border. Okay. Is a good district developed? Uh, yes, sir. It is. Uh, I cannot say it is developed district, but yes, it has sixty seventy uh, percent of the population which is tribal in nature, and uh, there are some problems associated with the district. Such as it is the most uh, illiterate. Uh, Illiteracy ratio is the highest in the district in Maharashtra. Illiteracy is highest. Highest in Maharashtra. Uh, okay. Uh, your father is serving now. Sir, he is he's retired. Sir. Retired. Okay. Uh, and uh, can you tell me some of his experiences? Where all he worked? Uh, sir, uh, he, he worked as a uh, forest first, ranger, sir. Yes. First, uh -huh. he worked as a assistant plantation officer in the. Social Forestry Department. Mm -hmm. Then he was uh, transferred to the. Uh, you worked in territorial range also. Yes. Territorial sir. range. Yes. Sir. Huh? Yes. Sir. Where? Uh, in Nandurbar district. Then uh, again he got posted into the Social Forestry. Uh, into the. Tell uh, me something about territorial range. You know something about territorial range? How big was the range he worked? What were his duties, responsibilities? Sir, he was. Uh, Nandurbar uh, territorial range he was posted. His work was mostly related to the uh, protection and conservation of the forest areas, uh, prevention uh, of the any uh, illicit wildlife trade. So illicit fellings were there in that area? Protection issues? Uh, yes, sir. In some pockets, there were the issues of related to the illicit felling. Mm -hmm. And uh, he dealt with those illicit felling uh, with very, uh, in, in a much productive way by using. Uh, his awareness campaigns and not just by uh, taking the uh, uh, legal action. Mm -hmm. He thought that it is uh, it would be uh, improper to take the Ill, uh, legal action against them. Rather, it is, it is better to empower the people, uh, talk with the students, have a talk. But in, if they have them. committed some offence and they have cut some trees, stolen some timber, the legal action is required. Yes, sir, but uh, I think the he thought that the issue with. Uh, the my district, uh, the district from where I belong, is mostly the illiteracy and the lack of uh, livelihood is, opportunities. That is for preventing. Yes. That is for preventing the crime. Yes. But if one crime has already taken place, he cannot simply. Yes, sir. He uh, yes, yes, he in many uh, in many instances he has taken the uh, such steps where uh, the legal actions against the offenders were taken. Okay. <clears throat> Bird watching. Can you tell me some five six names of five six common birds which you remember? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, one is the. Uh, I used to do the bird watching in my own area as a backyard bird watcher. Mm. Uh, mostly, uh, we used to find the migratory birds like a painted stork, and then the common minas, and then mm, knobbill ducks. Various types of ducks we used to find. And then parakeets were there, the red head, uh, red uh, necked parakeet, and the plum headed. How many birds were. you can identify, sir? Uh, I have uh, uh, checklisted around 150 uh, species of the birds. You can identify 150 species. Yes, yes, hmm? yes. Okay, tell me, you uh, did your MSc from Forestry, uh, FRI, Dehradun. Yes. Which hostel you stayed? There was a hostel there. Yes, sir. Hmm? Uh, it was Shisham Hostel. Shisham, Shisham Hostel. It Achha. is named by the. Uh, uh, okay. Shisham Tell state. me how big is the FRI estate? Sir, it is around uh, 1300 acres uh, of the estate. Yes. Achha, what is the status of that estate? It is a revenue land, protected land, protected forest, or what? Sir, it is a reserved forest under the uh, forest department. Uh, it has also a range office of itself. It is a notified uh, reserve forest? Uh, sir, I am not sure uh, about its status. Mm -hmm. okay. Who is director of FRI? Sir, currently uh, the director of FRI is uh, Dr. Renu Singh, IFS. Of? 
which cadre mm. sir mp cadre yes. i am asking uh, what is the relationship director uh, does he have some role in that uh, sir as far as my knowledge is concerned uh, vice chancellor or chancellor or something no sir uh, director i as far as my knowledge is concerned director do not play uh, the role i think sir he has some role let's find out <clears throat> okay sorry. thinnings how many types of thinnings are there so there is an ordinary thinning what is the ordinary thinning you are done msc in forestry first, yes sir ordinary in the ordinary thinning we uh, there is no term like ordinary thinning it's mechanical thinning or silviculture thinning you heard of mechanical thinning yes sir huh? yes sir in the mechanical thinning uh we uh, generally remove the trees or or which are of the uh, harvestable uh, size sir, in the mechanical thinning peak plantation after how many years you will do mechanical thinning watershed management what is watershed management sir watershed management uh, is an integrated approach towards the development uh, of the area which uh, which is drained drain by the uh, drained by the rivers uh, rivers and its tributaries it's what for, operations for, you can do there in water uh, water shed area in particular water shed area sir generally we do uh, the catchment area refor uh, reforestation or sometimes afforestation also and uh, some check dams we build to prevent the uh, prevent uh, the uh, erosion erosion and conserve the water in a water shed area whether uh, agriculture activities can continue yes sir uh, in the watershed is much more uh, wider concept where the uh, agriculture and all human dominated activities also comes okay uh, we have a number of political parties in our country any guess how many, how many numbers will be there 100 200 500 1000 2000 sir i am not sure of the number of political party, registered political parties national level political parties sir i am not sure of the okay. number sir uh, uh, see this uh, if any political party is there it has to register itself to with with the election commission election commission of india yes sir. okay and if some party is not to be recognized they have done lot of mischief and violation violation of code of conduct and many other things whether election commission has power to derecognize it sir as far as i know sir election commission there were the uh, this issues that the election commission do not have the power to deregister the political uh, party sir yes. no from that the collector has done excellent job there during first phase of uh, covid yes sir tell me something what was what uh, it was very much appreciated by the prime minister also what was the model that he followed nandubar sir uh, it was in news also yes sir mm. sir the collector uh, that time was rajendra uh, dr rajendra bharud hmm. uh, and the nandurbar was the uh, district which which was facing the massive uh, outbreak of the this covid 19 and there was a, a very shortage of this uh, this uh, oxygen cylinders hmm. so he was appreciated for his uh, he, he predicted Uh, that there is going to be a second wave and mm. will face the scarcity of the this oxygen in in the in our district so he before the actual second outbreak took place he mm. uh, installed many uh, oxygen plants sir and that's that's why he was mm. appreciated and uh, we in, in the second wave uh, fortunately men less uh, yeah, uh, the deaths were reported sir okay right okay what is the role of geological survey of india where is the headquarters and actually what is its role geological survey of india sir the zoological survey of india is situated in its headquarters in the kolkata and its role is uh, mainly the inventorying of the uh, uh, species species of the uh, species in india and its uh, check checklisting them finding the new species and all the it plays that roles okay uh in uh, biodiversity there are more number of trees uh, sorry more number of uh, plants or more number of uh, animals 
hmm. in India, species wise. Sir, I'm not sure, but uh, can I take a guess, sir? Guess. Sir, I think there are more number of plant species, sir. Plants. Sir, I'm not sure, sir. <laughs> sir. Okay. Okay. Succession. Sir. What do you understand by that? So, succession in the ecological terms is the series of events by which uh, an area uh, develops into a. Uh, develops Please into tell the uh, in terms of uh, I mean uh, uh, species that occupy the bare uh, rock and yes, sir, like that. From the, yeah. Yeah. Sir, for example, sir, there is a bare land, no vegetation, extreme environment is there. So the first first that species that will come is the lichen. The lichen will come and it will modify the environment. It will um, uh, uh, make the environment. How to mo modify lichen? What is the special character, sir? Uh, by uh, uh, making more moisture available for the uh, other species, sir. lichen. Moisture. Moisture, sir. Because lichen is the symbiotic uh, uh, organism, consists of algae and fungi. So it will make the moisture more available to the uh, that area, and then the area will be occupied by the mosses. Mosses, mm -hmm. then the uh, lower plants, and then the. So you tell, tell the because you are the zoology botany. I mean, we have been your subject, so I want the 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 it told mosses means bryophytes. Yes, sir. Then they tell bryophytes, pteridophytes, then pteridophytes, like that. I want yes. it. Yes, from you. Yes, sir. bryophytes, pteridophytes, then the gymnosperm, and then the angiosperm will uh, dominate the area. Uh, okay. What, what, do you call what do you understand by the climatic climax? Since we have done forestry master degree, so that's why I'm asking in those ecological terms and all these things. What do you understand by climatic climax species? Yes, sir. The climatic climax uh, is the clim uh, climax uh, species which are uh, which owes its existence mainly to the climatic factors of that area. For hmm. example, the equatorial areas are, uh, is dominated by the equatorial rainforest. Uh, species yes. that okay uh, fortification of rice recently your prime minister has also promised that uh, uh, during a pds system the rice will be fortified what do you understand by that thing? fortification of rice what exactly it means sir as far as i know the fortification of rice is the deliberate addition of uh, the nutrients micro micro as well as macro nutrients into what the what are added and why what is the objective of adding sir i think uh, zinc iron uh, which are mainly like objective is to improve the uh, to decrease the nutritional uh, whatever the nutritional deficiencies uh, india is facing uh, and it's to reduce the nutritional uh, deficiency status uh, we are deliberate addition taking place okay bharat net sir in, in what context it is used the term bharat net Sir, I think uh, BharatNet is used in the context of uh, provi providing the internet connectivity uh, to the I think, panchayats, uh, uh, panchayat, gram panchayats of the area. Only panchayat or village also? Yes, sir, Vill village level connectivity of the village bro bro broadband connectivity. Ten How many villages are there in India? Around? Any figure? Two point. Two point. Uh, Sir, I can guess two point five lakhs village only. Okay. So I am not sure, sir. My last question: Ujjwala uh, Yojana. Sir, what do you understand by that? Sir, Ujjwala Yojana is related to the provision uh, pro providing the uh, cooking gas and cylinder uh, to, to the yes, sir, to the to the uh, women like uh, women head of the family like to the poor uh, be below poverty line people to reduce their dependence on the uh, biomass or the uh, the wood they use for the uh, cooking that purpose. was Ujjwala 1. Then uh, last year also uh, Prime Minister started Ujjwala 2 also in Mahoba. What was, how did it different from Ujjwala 1 to Ujjwala 2? And how has it impacted the overall forest uh, ecosystem? Is there any effect of that Ujjwala Yojana? On, on the forestry sector, sir, I'm not sure about the differences between Ujula one and Ujula two. But yes, sir, the forest cover, uh, the trees outside the forest and the trees inside, the, we have we have seen the rap, uh, substantial decrease in the dependence of the village community on the for over the forest resources for their cooking purposes. And it has also seen in our uh, recent Indian State of Forest report that we have increased forest covers. 
Okay, thank you. Okay, you do bird watching. Yes. <laughs> right. So there is some kind of uh, apprehension that mobile towers affect the bird. Is there any research which proves so? Especially the smaller birds. Sir, uh, as far as I know, sir, there are uh, only apprehensions related to it, but not. Uh, a, it is only theory, sir. Not any. Uh, it is not proven, sir, yet. Sir, okay. Uh, why have we seen a decline in the numbers of sparrows? Sir, the spa number of the sparrows has declined mainly in the in, uh, urban areas of India. It is mainly due to the expansion, uh, uh, urbanization. Second is the destruction of their nesting and uh, nesting sites, and uh, third is mm, third and most important reason, which is recently cited by the recent heat waves. The sparrows are very sensitive birds, and the recent heat waves has impacted them in a large, uh, in a in a very big manner, sir. So these okay. are the three reasons. Okay, right. Uh, why are vultures essential? Sir, uh, in Hindi we call vultures as safai karmachari of the forest. So okay. they clean the uh, clean the forest area. They uh, uh, they feed on the carcass of the animal, dead car uh, carcass, and and that way they prevent the disease from spreading from one animal to another. So, urban areas. Urban areas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the in the Delhi, sir, uh, I found the one uh, rare endangered species of vulture that is called as uh, Egyptian vulture. Uh, so, uh, it was. I think, sir, it is also in the urban areas. Sir. Do not think. It is there in the urban areas also. Yes. Yes. Sir. Rural areas, urban areas. Other than the forest areas. Yes, sir. There has been a decline in the number of vultures because of diclofenac issue. So, uh, have there been any revival of the vultures also in terms of numbers? Well, I think government has taken many steps. Sir, with respect to diclofenac, uh, I think in 2006 or 7, government banned the diclofenac use for the veterinary purposes. And uh, and there are many other reasons also for the vulture decline, but uh, I think the issue uh, steps taken by the state government such as Maharashtra. Maharashtra has established vulture restaurants in the Raigad district and even into uh, Raigad district and uh, Nasik district and even into my district. So, we have seen the increase in the number of uh, vultures. Sir. Okay. And also the efforts of uh, vulture breeding center which is there in the Pinjor, Ariana. So, with that uh, no, the vulture number has increased. Sir, sir. Why are wetlands important for bird conservation? Sir? Why are wetlands important for bird conservation? Sir, wetlands uh, are important in a sense that they are the uh, habitat for many migratory birds which India receives. They are also the nesting sites, nesting sites as, as also as for the, as a breeding site such as uh, uh, red wattle lapwing is the bird which uh, uh, which lays its eggs on the on the fringes on the grasses on the fringes of the wetland. So in that way, the wetland is very essential for the birds. It also acts as the feeding ground. It is uh, fishes and also in that way, and the wetlands are important. What are living fossils? Sir, living fossils are uh, the plant or animal which are the sole representative of their uh, their genus i think i think uh, for, i can cite an example there is a tree, uh, plant called as jinko biloba uh, that is the sole representative of its whole genus sir it has been living in since a uh, very long time are birds also called living fossils or dinosaurs sir i am not sure sir about it okay all right uh, should cheetah be reintroduced in india and are there any plans? Sir, there are uh, many issues associated with the uh, Chita relocation. The first uh, uh, positive uh, aspects of the Chita relocation is that it is it was the it was like a sense of pride. It has been extinct in India since long time, and it has we have good. Uh, areas, uh, sites such as uh, Kuno Palpur Wildlife Sanctuary, then Nauradahi Wildlife Sanctuary is there. So, we have pretty good habitat for the uh, reintroduction of the cheetah in India. 
but at the same time sir we also look into the consideration that introduction of cheeta will be uh, major uh, challenge sir for example if we introduce cheeta into the madhya pradesh the navradhi wildlife sanctuary comes into the tiger corridor so there there are the apprehensions that uh, there may be a major tiger and uh, cheeta conflict into the area so we have to uh, look into the several parameters which are there uh, which are also uh given by the uh, iucn before the reintroduction of cheetah sir okay last question uh what more needs to be done to tackle the menace of plastic uh sir recently government has uh, amended the plastic waste management rule and it has increased the uh, thickness of i think uh, 75 uh, mm thickness uh, of the below the 75 mm thickness it, uh, the plastic won't be allowed the plastic bags won't be allowed the second is that uh, redu- besides reducing the plastic uses we have to also have to focus on the alternative uh, such as the bioplastics which are degradable in nature and i have seen as i live in the uh, karol bag area i have seen the many shops which are there in the comp- uh, they're uh, giving the this bioplastic bags which are degradable in nature so we have to focus on that sir thank you all right uh, uh, mr akshay so uh, the earlier part of the discussion chairperson was asking about the five birds can you name some uh, five birds not very common because you're mentioning about minas and so on because if you have a checklist of 150 you must mention something not very common Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So first uh, one, of course, the first is the red-headed vulture, which is not so very common in India. The second is the uh, Siberian crane, which is critically endangered bird. Have you seen those birds? Uh, sir, I have seen the red-headed vulture, but not the Siberian crane, sir. They are migratory birds, no? Not a, not a red-headed vulture, but a Siberian crane. Yes, Siberian crane is a migratory. Ha- are they still coming? the number has reduced but yes they are coming to the some pockets of rajasthan and some uh, i think they stopped coming 2003 onwards i don't think siberian cranes are coming to indian subcontinent sir i need to look into the no, data sir they are not coming to ghana bird sanctuary but i don't think they are coming to india sorry sir yeah and then uh, there are some rare birds like uh, the great indian bustard which is also like uh, flagship species of the grasslands in india then <coughs> then the knob-billed duck which comes to the uh, which is also migratory from from the central asia it comes so like that sir, there are many you come from a region which has uh, which is also a habitat one of the rarest bird in india yes sir the my district has the largest population of the forest owlet mm. how many are there uh, sir uh, it is not a exactly int- uh, like the population estimation was done into the district and there more than uh more than i think 200 uh, forest owlets were there mm-hmm. approximately which is, which is approximate numbers which is the rarest bird you have seen sir this one only forest owlet forest owlet yes. you've seen that is okay now what is the difference between sentinel species and indicator species sentinel species and indicator species sir i'm not sure about the, what exactly the sentinel species is what about indicator species sir indicator species uh, are the species which shows the uh, the uh, the environments for example sir uh, the lichen lichen is called as indicator species uh, when uh, there is a pollution in the city or uh, like when there is excessive air pollution in the city the number of lichens uh, decreases so by that way it shows the the indicator species shows the state of environment in that area sir mm. so you said you have spent some time in karol bag is it yes sir have you seen any indicator species here or absence of indicator species i think it's very rare to see any species here sir i have seen the one bird uh, during the lockdown sir it is not usually seen in delhi mm-hmm. but during the lockdown when the uh, there were the very low, uh, less pollution levels were, was very less noise levels were was very less i seen one bird which is called as golden oriole mm-hmm. there sir so i think sir it indicated that how like 
the we can uh, do the reduction in the pollution can can be a best habitat for the birds what is the when you say canary in the cave what does it mean can sir i am not sure of the terms all right so you have mentioned about um, human wildlife conflict yes and um, in the uh, two years back the ww report spoke about human wildlife conflict should be included in sustainable development goal what is your view should we include this and what is the urgency of suggesting that it should be included so this urgency has also been shown by our recent national action plan for wildlife we have seen that other than the some uh, charismatic species we other species are decreasing at a rapid rate we are uh, scientists have said that we are facing the sixth mass extinction and in that way sir there is also need for uh, landscape based approach for human and animal coexistence uh, and and the landscape based approach should be taken under the consideration to deal with the human wildlife conflict and i think sir yet it should be included as as our sustainable uh, in the sustainable development goal also another important factor is the climate change which is going to drive this crisis the human wildlife crisis is going to be driven by climate change there is a very important factor for it to be suggested and do you think so do you think climate change is an important factor yes sir the climate change is very important factor which plays a role in increasing the human wildlife conflict for example uh, the zoonotic diseases are also increasing uh, this is it is a part all right that is a different point okay last question uh, this uh, report also praised india for something called sonitpur model of uh, wildlife conflict human wildlife conflict sonitpur model is been praised are you aware what exactly is sonitpur model sir i'm not sure about it's this about sonitpur. human elephant conflict and how to tackle it you can read about it yes thank you Definitely.